Hi Cancer, I hope you're doing well. Happy birthday. So let's just jump right into this. So on July 3rd, we have the full moon in Capricorn. Capricorn is the 10th sign of the 10th sign of the zodiac. It's a cardinal sign like Cancer. It's an earth sign, okay? It, which is all about grounding. It and it's also about the universe helping us to move towards goals, achievements, and actually seeing those results from the hard work we've put in. So it's definitely, and it's called the Buck Moon because, and it's, it's, it's very symbolic. And I think it speaks a lot for us cancers because I know a lot of us cancers have been through, through it these last few years. And, you know, it's like the antlers of a male deer, which is a buck, are full grown at this time. And bucks shed and regrow their antlers each year. They produce new ones, and as each year passes, it's like they become larger and more majestic. So it's like, you know, through all these trials and tribulations, it's like you're coming back bigger and better than ever. It's a time of renewal, rejuvenation. It's a time of fertility, abundance. And it's like there's also... It, this moon's also the first, it's going to be the first super moon of the year, and it's bringing the moon, that it's going to orbit the moon closer to Earth, okay? So, it's, there's a strong gravitational pull, and from an effect wise, you know, we definitely may see, you know, things with water, effects with higher tides, coastal areas, flooding, what have you, Okay. But the full moon in Capricorn is affecting the seventh house, which is about agreements, negotiations, compromises, and significant partnerships around us, nurturing the inner self, um, vital conversations coming into play this month, and not allowing our emotions to go into overdrive regardless. You know, we're, we're charging forward to push through any obstacles and not have hesitation. This will be emotionally rewarding and emotionally fulfilling. Being consistent as well, putting energy into things um, that are meaningful for you. Because you're, it's like your stability is completely in your hands at this time. And it's like I'm visualizing the chariot. Get in the driver's seat, get down to business, and move forward okay no more distractions light is going to shine on the priorities here for you this month it's a month of strong focus on yourself which is hard for cancers right because we're very nurturing people we tend to pour into others some you know and sometimes that's more at our own expense, you know, we pour into so many people and so many things, we don't get that in return, and it's very draining. So, know too that making yourself a priority is not selfish, because it is time this month to invest in yourself and focus on your desires. So, from the crystal perspective, definitely there is a need to to neutralize your energy through emotions, right? And I feel like a lot of you are there. You know, finding the balance for your own well-being, a need to remain calm, definitely beginning to see things in a new light, which is going to bring new opportunities, new relationships, new partnerships, and just overall new beginnings, like a, a fresh start. It's like there's just this strong, like you have a blank canvas, what are you going to do with it? Um, I do get a lot of you have been working on emotionally healing, learning to deal with things in a healthier way, something that may have really thrown you into a spiral before won't anymore because you're not going to allow it to do so. Realizing, you know, it's like you're getting the realization that actions have consequences and learning that, you know, discernment here and not self-sabotaging yourself. Well, what's wrong with me when really there's nothing wrong with you? There's something wrong with an external energy, whether it's an individual, it's a place, a thing, what have you. Um, and, and there's really a lot of mental clarity coming in this month 
And again, for a lot of you, it's because of working on your emotions and your stability. Your, mani your manifestations are coming in because by clearing out the negativity, whether it's self-imposed or not, it's like you're making room mentally, spiritually, physically, and it's bringing in abundance. Your energy is amplified this month and it's very, very powerful. You are opening your heart. And when you open your heart, it's not just towards one thing, it's to everything. It's, it's opening your hand and, and, and saying, okay, universe, spirit, divine, God, whatever it is you believe in, I am ready to receive. I am deserving to receive. And believing that because you are, you are deserving to receive. So when you open your heart, it's like you're really going into harmony with oneself. Again, you're getting, there, there's a shift in perspective, like the old way of thinking, the old way, the old way of reacting, the old way of doing things is now out of the window, is no longer an option. And you're aligning your intention and motivation with your heart which is absolutely beautiful energy. And as a result, you are bringing in beautiful things. So if you like this video, like and subscribe, comment. I greatly appreciate everyone's support. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Keep staying in your power and I'll see you soon. Bye.